try why not? We're on FanDuel. We have the Sunday game. Let's try one with let's try one with uh Lamar and Flowers. Let's do it. Plug it in, Jordan. Uh, Lamar Jackson at quarterback and then go with Flowers at wide receiver. For what it's worth, Flowers does have a 29% target share this year. Yeah. I mean, last last week he did have four targets out of the 15 pass attempts Lamar Jackson had. Right. The toughest part is do we run it back? Because I'm really not I don't I don't think James Cook is the best run back option, but at the same time, he's been very involved in the passing game too. Yeah, for me, I'd say no. Uh if I want to go Kincaid at tight end just because there's nobody I'm gonna love it. Let's tight do end. it. Let's do it. I like okay. that. Go uh, Dalton Kincaid at tight end, Jordan. There and by the go. way, I, I'm not at all convinced that this lineup looks good when we sim it, but I want to try it anyway. I got, because this is a, this gives us a good idea of whether or not this game is worth stacking at this point. Cause it's actually a tough game to stack. I think just because flowers is so cheap, I think it'll end up looking good. Okay. And Depending we just don't have him projected in. all that well. Deontay Johnson, 6,200. Chuba Hubbard is 6,500. Let's go with one of those guys. Who do you want? Uh, let's go Hubbard at 6,500. There's also a running back I like specific to FanDuel who is not popular. That is not really consideration for me on DraftKings right now. DeAndre Swift is $5,700 on FanDuel. I will not and cannot do it. <laughs> it's Dude, such a cheap price point, 5,700. It is so cheap, but he's... I, I, don't, I don't know how it's possible that, that this guy is... Go Dude, can, just listen to this for a second. Week one, 10 rushing attempts, 30 yards. Week two, 14 rushing attempts, 18 yards. Week three, 13 rushing attempts, 20 yards. I I mean, it, it's it's bad. And if you look up like yards before, not yards after contact, look up yards before contact and see what it looks like for DeAndre Swift this year. So yards before contact per attempt among all of these other running backs, 0. 0.9, 0. 0.9 yards before contact per attempt. The only guys below him are Javante Williams and Rashad White. Now, look, I'm not saying that this isn't the game where he could get it done. Like Barkley's at 4.3, Taylor's at 4, Aaron Jones at 4, Chuba Hubbard is at 3.8, uh, Henry at 3.5. So just to give you an idea of how big of a gap that is, this guy's basically getting hit at or behind the line of scrimmage every time he touches the ball. It scares the hell out of me, man. Here's the other side of that, though. He's fifty-seven hundred dollars. He's not getting really any ownership on Fanduel right now, and the workload is still there. And it's coming both through the ground as well as through the air. He had four targets last week. He had five targets the week before. Thirteen and fourteen rushing attempts. So you have a guy who's getting close to twenty touches. He's not doing shit with it so far. But if you're going to have a cheap running back who has shown to have talent, at least in the past, I don't know. I'm kind of looking to overlook the actual results of the first three games and just focus more on the volume has been there. And he's really, he's really, really cheap. I will try this with you because we are friends, but I am scared of DeAndre Swift. Let's try it. Not going to be a chalky lineup. I'll tell you that much. No, this is not chalky at all. I'm throwing a cheap defense in. I'm throwing, uh, well, cheap enough. We'll say relatively cheap defense. Give me, I guess there's nobody super cheap. Uh, oh, wow. They actually were pretty good with defensive pricing here. Give me, y'all go Texans at 4,100. So now we have 7,300 for two receivers and a flex, Greg. Okay. 7,300. All right. So now we're at the point where we just have like the FanDuel infinite money shit to play with. Yes, exactly. If we want to go Jamar, I think that's perfectly reasonable. Um, Terry is down there. I'm surprised we only have Rome projected for 8.6. I actually like Roman Dunze quite a bit here. Deontay Johnson, but we do have Chuba in there. George Pickens. We go Rashi Rice at 8,500. Yeah, perfectly fine with Rice. 
I, I know at first glance, a lot of people might have sticker shock being like, oh my God, $8,500 for Rashi Rice. I mean, based on how he's played so far this year, the lack of involvement of Travis Kelsey, he's just so overwhelmingly the go-to guy for Patrick Holmes right now that I, I think the $8,500 price tag is totally fine. He's about as good as any fantasy wideout right now. Oh, it is unquestionably. Uh, it, so I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. For the guys who have played three games thus far, right? There is one player with a higher team target share than Rashi Rice. Can you guess who it is? Has to be neighbors. Malik neighbors. Yep. That's it. The only guy with a higher target share than Rashi Rice is Malik neighbors on the season. It was Cooper cup earlier, but Puka went down and Cooper cup got hurt and it was AJ Brown in week one, but that doesn't count. It has been Rashi Rice. So I'm with you. He absolutely warrant that price points. 100% warranted. Jamar Chase doesn't work here. We got to get a little bit cheaper. How about Ayuk? Ayuk's I- perfectly fine to me, too. Yeah. We haven't done an Ayuk lineup yet. He's $7,600 on FanDuel. Wait a second. Let me let let me let me call an audible there. Let me go uh, Nico Collins. Okay. He's only Collins $100 is... more. Yeah, Collins is $7,700. Yeah. This gives us $5,800. Is there anybody down here? $5,800... Um, Deontay Johnson 62. So we would need to, we could save some money by going cheaper at defense. Let's try it. Try to see if there's any decent defense. Like, I mean, we don't have any Bengals. I would, I would even consider punting with Bengals all the way at the, or I'm sorry, Panthers all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's see. What are the prices? Panthers, 3K. Um, Broncos, no. Uh, Buccaneers against the terribly banged up Eagles team might be viable. The Raiders are 3,700 against the Browns. I think I'd play any defense. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That's a good yeah, so, one. <laughs> that's a good one. Max Crosby with that injury sucks. But who cares? Who cares? Like you said, play anybody against them. Should we just go Deontay Johnson? This gives us the lineup I was looking for with uh, Chuba and and Deontay Johnson. Cool. Sweet. And then, of course, if you guys are playing something like this, make sure Flowers is in that flex spot and then Deontay Johnson is in the wide receiver spot. So you're not, you know. Talking any spot, any any site that has late swap is what I'm saying. All right, 38.6. That's manageable. Not the highest, but it's uh it's positive ROI at least. Yeah, I, I think it's just I, I'm I'm not convinced that the did you did you run a let's do this before we go. This will this will be fun because I think I know where this could be. Did you run a FanDuel sim? Yes. So part of the issue, though, with FanDuel Sims right now is that Cam Akers projects extremely well, and he's still super cheap on FanDuel. That perfectly fine. But what I wanted to see is how many, uh, how much exposure we have to this night game. I'm wondering if this has something to do. Like, what exposure do we have to the to the night game? It just feels like a really tough one to get to. So I got to a lot of, actually, uh, a lot of both Lamar Jackson and Zay Flowers, nearly 20% of both of them. Okay. But didn't really get exposure to anybody else in that game. 